here you see one of our black bears. And uh, that little guy showed up hungry, ate some grass for about an hour, 15 minutes. And uh, of course they do that because there's nothing else available that time of year. Um, probably woke up from hibernation hungry and had to grab a snack. Now, the bears around here, this is like, you know, the west side of the Cascade Mountains uh, in the foothills. They don't hibernate that long, especially when it's a warm winter. You see a little bit of snow here on the ground, but overall, this has been a pretty warm winter. Uh, most of the days were above freezing, and so they the bears don't hibernate that long, uh, only a few weeks. And uh, we know that the bears are denning and hibernating in a rocky outcrop maybe half a mile or so away and so we, we've seen signs and, and trails there and tracks and so they come up from there they go eat the grass here on the lawn and you know look for trash or you know other things and our trash is locked away but you know sometimes they find some other people's trash and um anyway so here they are uh, it's always wonderful sight. Uh, we love when we see our bears. That's awesome. We love these guys. This bear also has a really nice fur and a really nice pelt so that just looks gorgeous. So anyway, uh, seems to be in good health. Uh, curious little guy. He's just sniffing at a lot of things and you know just checking out the grass there. This lawn gets a little bit of fertilizer in the summer, so that grass is usually pretty pretty good. And so that's why he comes here. We we assume that's why he comes here because it's, you know, pretty good to pretty well grown. Yeah, he's really digging in there. Like I said, he was here for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes and uh, just ate grass like a cow the whole time. This uh, outcropping, which is about half a mile from here, we've been there, and uh, it's it's interesting. You can definitely see lots of signs of bears there, and uh, you know year round, and we're suspecting that's where they're denning or hibernating. We've never actually looked in some of the nooks and crannies. Don't want to disturb them, but uh, that's where we think they are, and they come from that area, and then. After he is done eating here, oh, that's I think that's the moment where he saw me behind the window. Um, and when they're done eating here, that's the direction in which they disappear. So we think that's where they uh, that's where they live. Uh, in the summer, we usually have a salt brick here uh, for some deer, and we've also seen the bears use that as well. And so that's why he's going to, I think that's why he's going to check this out here in a moment and, you know, sniff on it and paw it. But first, more grass because, you know, always hungry. Wow, he's really digging in there. Mmm, the good stuff. It's just awesome. I could watch this all day. And that's a that's actually a pretty good sized bear. Um, we think that might actually be one of the cubs that we've had two and a half years ago, summer two and a half years ago. Um, we don't know what happened to the second cub, but this is the we suspect this is the bigger cub that uh, came two and a half years ago. So now he's checking out where the salt brick usually sits in the summer, but. No salt break, well, you know, paw it and see what's going on, and then he'll slowly turn around and go home. Anyway, always wonderful to see our bears. <laughs> when I say our bears, you know, bears in the neighborhood. And, uh, yeah, this guy was uh, definitely hanging around for quite a while. And off he goes back to this rocky area where where we think their den is or their where they hibernate anyway hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching